Hey all, welcome to Share Trek, where science meets investment, and I'm your host Raj. Friends, in today's video, we are unpacking a billion-dollar move uh, in the gene editing space. Eli Lilly is acquiring Verve Therapeutics, a company trying to replace daily cholesterol meds with a one-time gene edit. And here's what you will get from this video: the science behind Verve's pipeline, especially Verve 102, why Lilly is paying over 100% premium to acquire it, and what this means for the gene editing sector and cardiovascular care and the companies in our genomic watch list. And finally, what retail investors should take away from this strategic move. Let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Let's start with the science. Verve Therapeutics is a Boston-based clinical stage biotech focused on treating atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, or ASCVD, uh, through in vivo gene editing. That means editing genes directly inside the human body. The lead candidate Verve 102 targets a gene called PCSK9. This gene is well known in cardiovascular research because it regulates LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol. Now, here is the potential game changer. If this therapy works, it could offer a once-in-a-lifetime treatment to lower cholesterol for good. Basically, we are talking about once-and-done cure. That's a huge leap from today's standard of care, which relies on daily pills or frequent injections. Verb 102 is in a phase 1b trial right now and has received fast-track designation from the FDA. So, what does this mean in plain terms? Well, this could be the first ever gene editing therapy to enter the mainstream for heart disease, not just for rare disorders. Well, Eli Lilly has been aggressively expanding beyond diabetes into other major therapeutics areas. With this acquisition, they are making a clear statement. The future of cardiology is genetic. Here are the numbers. Lilly is offering $10.50 per share in cash, valuing Verve at around $1 billion. Plus, shareholders get a contingent value right, or CVR, that pays an extra 3 per share if Verve 102 enters a U.S. Phase 3 trial within 10 years. That brings the potential value of the deal to $1.3 billion, representing a 113% premium over Verve's average trading price in the past month. This isn't just about picking up a promising asset. Lilly is locking in a company that could completely reshape cardiovascular treatment economics. And they're not wasting time. The deal is expected to close by Q3 2025. Uh, what makes this deal really interesting is that Lilly is absorbing not just one molecule, but a whole platform. Verve has three gene editing programs, two already in the clinic, and it was founded by Dr. Sekar Kathiresen, a prominent figure in cardiogenetics, and has been backed by major players, including GV, formerly Google Ventures. The strategic logic is to move from chronic therapies to single-shot interventions. In fact, Ruth Jimino, Lily's head of diabetes and metabolic R&D, said this could shift the treatment paradigm from chronic care to once-and-done treatment. From an investor standpoint, this is another signal that gene editing is not just for rare diseases anymore. We are entering the era of mainstream gene medicine. So what does this mean for retail investors like us? Well, here are a few key insights. Lilly's risk appetite is increasing. They are making a long-term bet on the potential of in vivo gene editing to treat widespread diseases like ASCVD, not just rare monogenic disorders. And then the valuation uh, in gene editing are climbing again. The 1.3 billion offer represents a 113% premium over Verve's recent trading levels, signaling renewed big pharma confidence in genomic platforms. Gene editing is maturing and M&A is heating up. Uh, this deal could be the starting gun for a new round of acquisitions. And you may ask why? Well, I think it's because major pharmas face a patent lift in the late 2020s and need future-proof platforms right now. So the question is, who's next? Well, I can think of a few. Editas Medicine, EDIT. Despite a rocky history, they hold valuable CRISPR IP and have early stage programs in inherited retinal disease and sickle cell 
their market cap is under dollar five hundred million, making them a cheap strategic buy. Next, I have in mind Caribou Biosciences. They are advancing allergenic CAR T programs with next gen CRISPR Cas twelve A edits for better persistence and reduced toxicity. With solid data in hand, they are a potential fit for farmers looking to enter oncology cell therapy. Then we can look at Beam Therapeutics. They are already partnered with Pfizer and Verve in the past. And with base editing IP and pipeline maturity, they remain a likely target, uh, though at a higher price point. Then we have Graphite, Intellia, uh, Prime Medicine, all at various levels of maturity. These companies become more attractive as de risk clinical data emerges and market caps remain suppressed. In short, if Verve's one and done, cholesterol treatment makes sense at $1.3 billion today. Other platforms with parallel or complementary capabilities may follow soon. This is a key trend we'll be tracking on ShareTrack, so please make sure to subscribe for updates as the genomic space heats up. I have a question for you, friends. What do you think? Would we see more takeovers in the next 12 months? And who could be the next target? Please put the thoughts that you have in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, can you please subscribe and help grow the channel? So friends, that brings me to an end of this video. Bye for now.